It's such a really fun thing when you look at a dish that has connectivity to what it is. Braised beef cheeks, broccoli rabi, and a multi-grain porridge. Every skeletal cut of meat has a particular function. Beef cheek, cows masticate. They just constantly are chewing. It creates a higher concentration of myoglobin in that muscle. So you have these two really dense flavor cheeks. It's a muscle that's constantly used. Like they're using it nonstop. Cows are grazing forever. The idea behind utilizing a cheek in this particular way is to really just showcase the depth of flavor in it by serving it with what it's chewing all day. Really, really a fun way to have something at the table because all the connectivity pieces are there for the guests. Magic moment. This magic moment. There you go, that's seared now. When the cheeks come in, there's a silver skin or a sinew uh, that has to be removed. And what's really important is getting that sinew cap off. But I save it and I add it into the braising liquid. There's a lot of natural collagen found in that sinew. And by braising it in with the actual cheeks, it's gonna give the, a lot of depth of flavor and character to the braising liquid. And then it won't need to be reduced as much. When I'm glaceing the meat, there's enough natural collagen and gelatin, so it's gonna stick to the meat. Ready? Let's do it. Molasses, hang on, where did I put the molasses? There it is, okay. You know, we have a tendency to put rich with rich, right? Two negatives always equal a positive, right? But we have to balance out the two. It's gotta be rounded and you wanna hit all those notes. It's a bitter, sour, salty, sweet, bitter, umami, pungent. And that dish hits all those targets. The key is, is having each one play off each other. So you have this rich, beef cheek that's been braised, that's just tender and succulent. It's really unctuous, right? But then we're offsetting that by using molasses and green peppercorns that have been brined in fish sauce, which gives it umami, but doesn't taste like fish. And then we're finishing it with sorghum vinegar because I didn't want to use ground sorghum in the integrale. I wanted to use the vinegar to offset the richness of the actual dish. A rounded palate, I like to call it. There's a component of what we are as a chef that is educational. There is a component of what we do that is to be inspirational, but there's a part of us that is to create taste memories for making people happy. We are there to put our egos aside after a certain point of education and understand how to work with the best product don't screw it up and give the guests the best experience possible. Mm -hmm.